And now, my child, are you prepared to greet your future husband, to whom you will betroth to the early age of one? If that is your wish, father. Today you will finally see my efforts crowned, and my dearest wish fulfilled. That is, one of my dearest wishes fulfilled. My daughter, married to the son of my oldest and dearest friend, Lady Angela, whose husband, Major General Murgatroyd, has just recently inherited a baronetcy from a distant cousin and is now Sir Joseph Murgatroyd. <laughs> I fear I can never be happy with my husband. My heart is given to another, and I shall never love Ray. Love? What has love to do with marital happiness? Do you think I loved your father? Huh? <laughs> my heart, too, belongs to another. But I say to myself, that man is a Jew, and I will love him. <laughs> <laughs> On the day when I was wedded, it should be all that go on, sire. I acknowledge that I dreaded an explosion of desire. I was overcome with panic, for his temper was volcanic, and I didn't dare be brought, for I feared a thunderbolt. I was always very ready, for his fury was ecstatic. His refined vocabulary was incredibly emphatic. To the thunder of this charter, I knocked under like a martyr. When it changed, he was fuming. I was gently unassuming. When reviling me completely, I was smiling very sweetly. I was smiling very sweetly, very sweetly. Giving him the very best, and catching back the very worst. That is how one tries to take your big progenitor and worse. Giving him the very best, and catching back the very worst. That is how I try to take your big I seem to be significant for genital 